What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club, FS Daily News. Hopefully you guys all have an amazing Wednesday. We got some news to go over today, guys. If you haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. Okay, like always, guys, this is a premiere. So every single premiere for the past week, we have been hitting every single goal. Let's try for 130 likes today, guys. If you're watching this after the premiere, let's try for 900 likes. Okay, let's get to that news. Okay, the first bit of news is from 82 Square Studios. Do you have bales to transport? Introducing the 22-foot baling gooseneck trailer. Uh, so he will be making this. Also, they're also expanding it, guys. Guess what? Versions he's working on, the 22-foot, the 30-foot, and the 35-foot, plus special features to be announced soon. Who knows what the special features could be? It could be auto load, who knows? But this looks good and I cannot wait for them. Up and coming studio right here. Okay, right, so there's that one right there. Custom modding, a little bitty update on the John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer. First official appearance with the 120 foot boom. We are progressing fast and the next step is to add flexible hoses and realistic supply coupling hoses. Uh, so this looks good. Hopefully, hopefully we get it by this month, guys. I want this thing at the end of this month at least. This will go perfect with Stone Valley. Also mentioning Stone Valley did fail testing, guys. It did fail testing, but it was a small error and he has ready sent it back in. So hopefully it does start testing, hopefully tomorrow or maybe Friday and we get it by next week. Okay, so there is that one. Next one, the last news to go over is from Euro Agri Modding. He had this to say, hello all, hope everyone is doing great. A small update from us. The TB16 will be joined by our latest addition on the Bailey fleet, the TB12. Added to the TB12 and the TB16 are the coverage for the standard configurations. Uh, we are also working on updates regarding the Fiat Winter Series. Both the Bailey and the Winter Series are sent to Giants, so both the updates are sent off. Uh, let's see, the Fiat change log, fixed sounds, fixed axle swing, added F130 Series 2, so a new tractor is going to be with that. Uh, the Fiat badge on Series 2 models, added uh, another tire option, narrower than standard. Fixed front weight, uh, dashboard adjustments, chassis is more of a brownish color, fixed and fixed wheel shaking and duplicate twin wheels on the Michelin. And then the Bailey version update, uh, they added the TB12, mesh fixes, added high hitch option, added PKT tires, fixed forge harvester not to fill in correctly, and the vegan configuration option. So there is those right there. Okay, next thing to go over guys is of course the mods that came out. Let's go over them. And the mods that came out, the first one, the Emily AM317. Now, this thing looks amazing. This thing probably would be really good, of course, cleaning those animal, pen, animal pens. Then we got the JCB TM320S, the Lizard NO12, the AW700 Cutter Trailer, the RDC FS19 update, the CSZ Equipment Pack update, the MZHT10, Class Mega Pack update. And that is it on the updates. Mods and testing. Here we go, guys. On the PC side, we have the Case Echolo Till 2500, CMC Saturn 5800 pack, Corteva diesel tank, Vent 512-516 Vario S4, Gyrex EDHV 155, Happy Animals, which just came out today for PC, the Kenyan Mac Fiber 365 feeder wagon, which came out today for PC. Lizard ADT-10, Lablesca Dolina, Noah Brusda, RZ-3M meat mower, Sadco, Shelf Storage, Straw Harvest Pallet Storage, Update to Welcome to Stone Valley, the Farming Agency Edition, and last but not least, the Zeta Proximia. So that is all the mods are in testing for PC. On the console side, here we go. We got the AW700 Cutter Trailer, which came out today. The Case IH AFS Connect Magnum. Kuhn VB2190 with attached to Ursus Z586. Lizard Car Trailer. RDC, uh, RDC FS19, which came out today. Sosnovka. And last but not least is the Stara as a laser CRDCR13. So that is all the mods that are in testing. Uh, number of mods waiting to be tested is 97. Current average waiting time, guys, is four workdays. So we're still under that 100. 
So that is all the news. That is everything for today, guys. Today's schedule, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Of course, we will be on Sandy Bay. So hopefully you guys do join us for that. Uh, other than that, that is it for today, guys. Hopefully we did hit that like goal. Remember, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all day, farmers. Peace.